Well, uh, we got a big horse and a big bike, but the horse is bigger than the bike. So training, um, training, uh, holding the tone back, try to keep him quiet. Just let him saunter along and do his work and never really had an issue. He's, he's a tight fit in the bike, but he never hit it really. Maybe touched a wheel once in a while. We got a gate and pole on the inside, but never really hit it before. <clears throat> so I go in behind the gate. He's very behaved. He trots out of there. A little grabby, a little grabby. So I'm just trying to steady him. Gets a little bumpy in the first turn. Not bad. You know, he's first start back in a while. He's a little antsy himself. It's a little congested on the inside, and I just say, I just want to stay out of trouble. I move him over. Oh, my God. He takes off. So now he's trotting. Uh, he's trotting wide open. I'm trying to get him settled. I don't want to blast him to the front. I don't really care if I sit out there for a little bit. I just want him to settle. He's touching the wheel in the, in the second turn and makes a break. Comes back trotting. Comes back trotting. He, you know, I know he's never gone without hobbles before. I know that he's a big horse on a half-mile track. All these things are correct. Well, he trots his last half easy, 57 seconds. Now, I don't know how they're going to chart me because they're charting me by eyeball, but I can assure you it was at least 57 seconds. He was very, very good. Uh, so poses the question, in a perfect world, just bring him home, race him at Mohawk? Yep. Therein lies the bigger problem. We entered seven horses for Monday. One got in. Well, valedictory final. Six entered. J.K. Mickey Mantle for the six entered in that the valedictory final. Six. One trot went. The open didn't fill. Locatelli's going to the Meadows. Um. So we would have had uh, Locatelli, uh, White Tiger, Resolute Bay didn't fill. Uh, looks like money didn't fill. We literally entered seven horses. I forget who the other two were. We entered seven horses and got one in. I was on the phone with the race office, and, and uh, they knew the score. You don't fill the open, the horse is leaving. You know, it looks like money. Okay, fine. He can have a week off for sure. Resolute Bay, yeah, fine. White Tiger's a little pissy. I, I don't like the fact that this horse now, you know, I didn't mind giving him a break now and again, but it seems like every week it's one week on, at least one week off, and you can't put together, you can't string a, string together consecutive races. Like, you can't string together a manageable, standard bred racing schedule like that. Not for him, anyway. So I'm left frustrated because in a perfect world we would have six horses in on Monday with the potential to take home the tone home. Now, he will get around here. I'll qualify him next week. I'll get him around. And he could race here. But is he suited better for the Meadowlands? Mohawk? The Meadows? Man, I tell you what. He's a nice horse. Don't kid yourself. He's no slouch. That's not a... I need to be in the other lane. That's not a, an okay mile. That was a, a good mile. But a very fast horse. And he's sound. He, he feels so good. I think that's half the problem is that he just feels like a million dollars. He feels good right now, and he wants to get at it, and he wants to fight. And um, I just needed him to relax and not hit the bike today is what I needed him to do. So um, not the end of the world. We'll re-qualify Hole in the Tone. The problem with Hole in the Tone is where do we race him? Do we try to race him at Northfield Park? Yeah, I mean, I, we just can't keep taking horses in Northfield. we got to bring some horses here and buy some horses for here also. You know, yeah, he's a big horse. Yeah, we could race him at Mohawk, nowhere to race him. Yeah, we could send him to the Meadowlands. To who? In what class? In what capacity? We could go to the Meadows. That's probably a better choice. First start, but we will qualify him here first. Got to get a bike for him, and if I have to buy a bike for him, I will. The bike that we have in Ontario, we had bought for Stay Close, and he doesn't need a giant bike anymore. He's trotting good. In fact, we raced him in the in the normal nitrous in uh, just a normal size bike at the Meadows and had no issues with him. They raced him in, in a normal bike, uh, just our normal UFO the other night in uh, Mohawk, had no issues with that. No, that's not true. He raced in Richard Murrow's extra large bike the other night at Mohawk. Dominic wanted to race him in that. So uh, a little bit of a, a frustrating situation in the sense that 
we don't have a giant trotting bike. I guess we have one a Mohawk, but it's not as big as Richard Moreau's or Dominic would be wearing our bike on Stay Close. So I think I'm gonna have to procure a giant trotting bike for uh, for Hone the Tone. I, I can't say enough, though, how nice this horse looks. I don't know if you guys, I know they show it in-house. I don't know if you guys can watch the feed of the qualifier. If you can, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you can't, the line may not do him justice. He was exceptionally good today, and I think he's got a very, very bright future with uh, with us, and we'll have him for quite a while, I believe. Man, he's just, uh, he's just uh, a really, really nice horse. So, um We'll requalify him, get him done. Uh, the issue with Ontario is more frustrating. It's not like there's a ton of places you can, uh, not not like there's a ton of places you can um, you can get them in right now, right? Poconos is closed. Philadelphia is down. Not a lot of our horses not going to Yonkers. Meadowlands is kind of full. Um, so we, we gotta we gotta tread lightly. This can't be a knee jerk reaction. We gotta get them somewhere. I understand everybody wants to race them. You don't want to race them as much as I do. I want to race them too, but got to tread lightly here and make the right decision so with that i'll let you guys go uh as i said for my partners on home the tone bad news is he hit the bike and made a break good news is man he is one fast bugger and we will get him qualified next week so with that i'll let you guys go i'll talk to you all very soon i hope aside from the break you're having a good day it's uh seems like the calm before the storm here that everybody i hear all the radio stations even on, on xm satellite talking about the big arctic freeze that is coming it's going to rain here tomorrow afternoon and switch immediately to arctic weather so there's going to be some nasty nasty roads tomorrow if i if i can't make it home i can't but my plan is to leave at two o'clock from the meadows after macho martini's race and head directly back to ontario so we'll see how that plays out merry christmas everybody i'm sure we'll have lots of uh Lots of time to wish each, wish each other a Merry Christmas, but I thought I would start it right now. Have a good day. Have a good week. I will talk to you all very soon.